about the time this was starting, about eight or ten years ago, we just decided we don't need any regulators. So the people at the SEC just did nothing about this thing, and it just grew. And if normally it would grow like a tree or bush, and you'd trim it every step of the way, and it'd be a nice tree. Now you've got this gigantic redwood that's never been trimmed. It's so big, and there's so much money involved. Now trying to go back and trim it down into, the, into a tree that fits into the objectives of this country in terms of what our capital markets should be doing and how an important role they play is very, very difficult. And whether the Securities Exchange Commission has the, 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 the power, they have the power, whether they have the, the ability or the desire to mix it up with Wall Street when you're talking about billions of dollars at stake, it's just hard to believe how that's going to work. How did this tree grow so big so fast? It grew so big because, we, again, we went to digitalization, decimalization. So now we had the computers and the thing. And then we just walked away from it. We literally walked away from it. And we allowed this thing to grow. And at the same time was going on, Steve, we basically went from a situation where we had two markets to now almost having 50 markets. Mm -hmm. So what these computers do is they, they're searching all these different markets. I guess let me ask you the question. Is the FCC equipped to deal with this? I don't think so. I, I, I think that if they started doing what they should be doing and reporting back to us, they would begin to identify what it is they need. They need, they need a much greater quant capability, I think. They need more computers. They need to figure out how they're going to do it and the rest of it.